Ooh, look at that. Over 230, over 240, over 245. It's about 245. All right, folks, this is GabeSecurity.org, and today I want to talk to you about Ultra VPN. Now, Ultra VPN is not the biggest VPN out there. It's not something you're going to see a commercial for during the Premier League. Uh, it's you know not going to be plastered all over Google, but it gets me what I need from my VPN. In fact, it is very personal to me, so I want to show you what it looks like directly from my desktop in today's review. So let's go ahead and dive in to Ultra VPN. So let's just look at the Ultra VPN desktop. Pretty nice looking desktop app. We can go in the corner, check out what some of these elements are, get a dark web scan, you get uh, password management. That's usually really useful. Um, you get, you know, the ability to memorize all your passwords uh, with Passwatch. So, you know, we used to talk a lot about password managers here at security.org, haven't done so as much recently. Probably something we should look at again, uh, but you get an idea of uh, you know how to make all of your passwords safer. So if you don't have anything like Dashlane or One Password, uh, this Ultra VPN gives you that access, which is really really nice. Quick access anywhere from Atlanta to Argentina. Now, of course, we have to talk about just the straight up features to begin with when it comes to encryption. Two fifty six. A yes, you know, you're strong, you're good. Encryption, not worried about it. When it comes to protocols, UltraVPN is a little bit different. You know, it doesn't have OpenVPN. It's just not what it uses. Uh, it's got your Ike V2, your IPSEC. It has automatic, it has Hydra, uh, but it is not using OpenVPN, which is, you know, the largest one of them out there. That being said, I feel completely safe and secure using UltraVPN. The next thing I wanna talk about before I dive into some of the more fun parts that I wanna show you with UltraVPN is the price. You sign up for something like two years, it's gonna be as low as $2.99 a month for UltraVPN. That's very, very affordable. You know, if you go to one year, it's like $4.99 a month, and if you sign up monthly, uh, it's $7.99 a month, but you know, I basically was able to pay, I don't know, like 80 bucks or something, uh, and I'm done for you know, two years, I don't have to think about it. So really, really affordable VPN, especially for my uses. So now let's talk about that. What are my uses? Speed and streaming. So speed, you know, of course is relative. Let's go ahead and look at what that is like here in Brooklyn. So now I'm gonna show you essentially how fast this computer is right now at 12.42 PM. So I'm just recording the speed test. Me in New York. Oh, it slowed down. It slowed down in the last hour. I've been doing this all day, doing a lot of takes since we're doing a new thing here. And it was is 100 megabits slower than it was an hour ago. Not even joking. Oh, but the upload speed has gone up a bit. So now we're looking at 220, 230 megabits per second upload speed. So it's gone up. Interessante. So 241. All right, that's what we're getting right now. So because that's what we're getting right now, let's go ahead and test some of our other servers um, with Ultra VPN. So I'm gonna start this. Let's go to Vienna. Now I'm connecting to Austria. We're gonna test the speed. All right, so not too bad so far. We're looking at 130 approximately megabits per second. So a little bit of a drop off. I guess I'd be like, what, like a 30% drop off or so. Yeah, approximately. Upload speed getting around 50 megabits per second. So definitely not to do, you know, pretty much anything I'd be doing today, uh, but that's good to know. That's what we're looking at for Austria. My next Asia trip is supposed to be Japan. Uh, for, it'll be my third time in Japan. Love it. Let's connect. It's probably gonna connect to Tokyo. Pretty much all of these places are just connected to Tokyo. But let's see how quick that's gonna be. Tokyo's far. I've done it twice. So I think I had a 14 hour flight one time from Atlanta. Ooh, look at that. Hunt to over 200, over 230, over 240. Over 245. It's about 245. Oh, dropping in. 240. 
Nice. See what we got in terms of upload speed. It's doing well. It's doing well. It's not bad. It's really not bad, guys. It's really not bad. Mmm. 40? Okay. But considering how far away it is, I'll allow it. So as you can see, when it comes to speed with Ultra VPN, I got a pretty good shot, uh, you know, in the afternoon in Brooklyn. I've tried it, you know, all week, kind of testing it to make sure it was relatively consistent. And yeah, I got really different speeds in my own house, depending on what was going on. Uh, but I was able to get pretty consistent speeds out of Ultra VPN. Now, part two of this is streaming. Now, while I'm video recording, I can't actually show you what is going on on my screen because you know, they don't allow you to record them like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, all that. Of course, that makes sense. But here, you can get an idea of what streaming is like with Ultra VPN. So we don't want to give anything away, but as you can see here, I'm able to watch Black Panther. Side of this one. Now, I have a screen recording going on right now, so you're not gonna be able to see it directly. But yeah, it's working. Not blocked. That's really useful. Now, this one, for example, just to give you an idea, does not work when I try to watch Shit's Creek on Hulu. So my point is, you can ultimately watch Hulu. Netflix is usually easier, of course. Disney Plus, and even even HBO Max, though that one is very tough if you want to. It just takes a little bit of uh, trying. And that's it for today. I hit you with a new kind of style of review. I'm not wearing a soccer jersey. I kind of feel naked with that one, to be completely honest with you. But I was just trying to mix things up a little bit. So we've got no soccer jersey. We've got a little bit of desktop action. But most importantly, we've got Ultra VPN. You can see how it works for me because it's affordable. I'm able to stream everything I want when I'm abroad. So I take my little MacBook, take my little Windows abroad. I can see what I want. I can watch my shows. I need them to go to sleep. It's kind of sad, but I do need my shows to go to sleep. And finally, that is really quick. So affordable, great streaming, and quick. So all of that makes for a really good VPN and one I think you should definitely try out. My name is Gabe. This is security.org. Be secure.